What's going on guys? It's that guy with movies back here again. Today I'm feeling great because today is the last day of my first semester in college here. So what better way to celebrate than to do an unboxing? And this is going to be on the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital code combo pack of Tenet here. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's take a look at the slipcover first. And it's actually a really kind of cool looking slipcover. So let's kind of break it down here. So just we got the banner as usual to denote what we have. Um, we have some text here, a film by Christopher Nolan, director of the Dark Knight Trilogy, Inception, and Dunkirk, which were all pretty good movies. I really enjoyed those. Uh, Tenet, John David Washington right there, who is the main character in this movie. And uh, some not too bad um, cover art here with like two versions of him, I guess. So we have like the regular version, and then we have like the inverted version of him wearing the like the oxygen mask and everything. So that's a look at the slipcover here, and as you can see, the Tenet logo is kind of like shiny, as you can see right there, and it's also kind of like shinier in the back. I don't know how to describe it, but that's pretty much what it looks like. It's a really cool looking slipcover. So now let's take a look at the, oh, I think it was actually better before. Uh, I don't know, whatever. Uh, Blu-ray disc logo, Tenet logo, French version included, and the Warner Brothers logo. Same thing on the other side. So now let's take a look at the back here. So we have a quote up here, a five-star review, bold, epic, and ingenious from Chris Honeyset of the Daily Mirror. And there's some screenshots from the movie as well. And if you guys want to pause and read that description, then there you go. I don't have to like zoom in anymore with that, but there is that. And now let's take a look at the special features and it only seems to be that there's like one of them on here. So we have the only special feature is looking at the world in a new way, the making of Tenet. Over an hour of bonus features that explore casting, continuity, sets, cinematography, locations, costumes, music, how they created some of the film's epic sequences, and more. So that might be a very interesting making of feature, I don't know. Because with the whole kind of like inversion thing and everything with that. So now let's zoom down here to the bottom so we can take a look at our specifications. So for the main feature, 1080p high definition, 16 by 9 variable, so one of those ones again, uh, with an aspect ratio of 220 to 1 for just regular sequences, so you'll probably get like, I don't know, like thinner black bars if you watch that with the 220 to 1, it's kind of an odd aspect ratio. I think Dunkirk was in that aspect ratio as well. And for the IMAX sequences, it is an aspect ratio of 178 to 1, so it's going to fill your entire display. So it's also really nice that we do get the IMAX sequences in here as well. Warner Brothers seems to be doing that a lot more than all the other studios, not like Disney with Infinity War and Endgame. So for the audio, surprisingly enough, no Atmos, but I think this is how Christopher Nolan wanted this. We only have a 5.1 DTS HD Master Audio track. Uh, we also have a descriptive audio track in English, um, French and Spanish, Dolby Digital are probably just 5.1 tracks, and then for subtitles, English, French, and Spanish as usual. And the only other thing that I can see on here that we can look at, I, this might be all regions or just region A, I'm not too sure, but this is 151 minutes, so a little over two and a half hours, so it's quite a long movie, but... We'll take off a slipcover here, so we can just take a look at the normal case here. So this is what it looks like. There's the spine again, and then there is the back, so not too much of a change there. So now let's take a look at this. We'll slice this along the side here, and we're going to go ahead and unwrap it. So have you guys seen Tenet yet? Because I know a lot of people are, uh, you know, kind of adverse to going back to the theater to go and see stuff right now. So, have you guys seen this one yet? It is on VOD right now because it is on Blue right now. But, have you seen it? Let me know what you thought of it down below in the comments. I want to hear your thoughts on it. So, there is there it is all unwrapped and everything. So, I'm just going to bring this off camera so I can take out the code. And, I'll try and do my best to hide it here. Uh, that's pretty much what it looks like. So, we have, you know, the QR code. And, I'll be sure to redeem that before I upload this video. But there it is, tenets, there is the code and everything right there. And if we flip it on the back, it just says, thank you for your purchase. Build your digital collection with this limited time sale available only in the USA. 
but that's nice we got that in canada and it's only in the usa so we just have ads for dunkirk inception blade runner 2049 and then edge of tomorrow right here check out these movies and more for uh from 4.99 so there is that and here is a look at the inside so as you can see right here um, I'm seeing two discs in here. I think this is kind of usual with Christopher Nolan Blu-ray releases is we get a separate disc for whatever bonus feature he has. So if I can, there we go. So this is the Blu-ray disc for the movie right here. So just a big picture of John David Washington's character right there with the oxygen mask on. So that's pretty much what it looks like. Not too, nothing too special or anything like that, but that is a look at the uh, Blu-ray disc for the movie. And now we will take a look at the Blu-ray disc for, let's see if I can, there we go. This is the Blu-ray disc for the special features right here. So we just have some bullet holes in glass. And uh, one of them was from an inverted bullet, I think. And then another one was from like the regular bullet that went through. So that is a look at the special feature disc. So that is just where the, um, the one like making of feature ad is. And I'll just go ahead and put those back. And then let's take a look at the DVD here. So this is a look at the DVD. So we have John David Washington again, and then Robert Pattinson's character on the other side of the glass, kind of looking at like a bullet hole. So that is a look at the DVD disc there. So it's always nice to see studios putting artwork on their releases or on their discs, because not a lot of studios do that. But anyway, though, that is about it for the unboxing portion of this video. So now let's get on to the review portion. I'll just do this really quick. So what did I think of Tenet here? I did see this one in theaters back when it came out on August 28th here. This one had a really odd releasing schedule. And this is definitely a movie that's been pushed back many times because it was originally supposed to come out July 17th, I think. And they were pretty adamant on sticking to that date. And then they pushed it to July 31st. Then they pushed it back to August, August 12th, I think. And then they pushed it back again, and then they kind of just decided on a release date of August 28th in international territories, and then September 4th in, like, the U.S. and that. So I got to see it earlier on, what was it, August August 28th, I saw it. And uh, it was a good movie, but I was expecting a little bit better because this was supposed to be the big, um, the big event movie that was gonna probably bring back theaters, which it did not, spoiler alert, but, uh, you know, like, they, they tried, I guess, and it didn't really work out for them domestically, but it sure worked out for them internationally, though, because it has almost, like, 350 million, and, um, yeah, like, I like this movie, but it could have been a bit better, though. I know a lot of people had issues with the audio mixing in here, I sort of had that problem sometimes, but a lot of the other times I could understand them for the most part, but I still really didn't understand this movie with the whole kind of inverted time and then regular time thing, and it's a movie that really requires you to focus, but at the same time, the audio was so bad that you can't really understand anything of what anybody is saying, and it's just like, this is definitely a movie that you need to watch at least twice so I probably will or I probably might watch this one again sometime with the subtitles on because I think that's what everybody is going to do is get the blu-ray of this or rent it on digital or buy it on digital and watch it with subtitles because this is definitely the type of movie that is needed but the action sequences were really good in this movie and uh, all the performances were pretty good in here and it's definitely an original movie it's definitely something different it's nothing I have seen before in any other movie so it's definitely an original concept but the execution of it and uh, I don't know it kind of depends on the person but that's just my my opinion on it I probably give it a 7 out of 10 here a 6.5 or a 7 out of 10 it's not Nolan's masterpiece I think that might be Inception I really enjoyed Inception I love that movie but this one is just not bad it's it's good but you know, it's probably worth another watch so you can kind of understand what's going on and everything. But other than that, you know, like it's it's not a masterpiece or anything by any means. But anyway, though, guys, that is about it for my review portion. And that is it for this video of the unboxing of the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital code combo pack of Tenet here. This one is also available on 4K as well. 
So thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Instagram and Twitter links will be in the description down below if you want to follow me on there. Also be sure to check out my IMDb profile page. The link for that will also be down below in the description of this video as well to check out what I've been watching recently. Also, if you're new to my channel or if you're already subscribed, be sure to click the bell to be notified of future videos. In new video, I'm probably going to go back to doing videos on Tuesday and Friday for the couple weeks that I'm on Christmas break. So expect two videos a week again. So until I'm probably starting school again, I haven't really decided yet if I'm going to go back to, you know, just doing Friday videos. But I don't know. Not too sure yet. We'll see. So anyway, though, guys, that is about it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time.